Hello, this is Pentest, back with you with another review and today I have for you the review of the Sony Xperia XZ2 Premium. So this phone costs around 840 euros here in Slovakia and for this what you get is quite elegant and beautiful device. And it also has a few minor drawbacks. The first I'd say is that it's quite big on, on nowadays standards. It houses a classical 16x9 ratio display and for people whose hands are not as big as mine it may be not as comfortable and as secure to hold it in their hands. It, all, it also is quite heavy with 236 grams of weight but it's a thing that pretty much anyone can get used to. And it's not a big deal for me personally. On the front side you have this 5.8 inch 4K HDR10 compliant display with resolution of 3880 by 2160 which is absolutely amazing. The sharpness of the display is on 765 pixels per inch and as you can see here in the detail it's absolutely brilliant. It's absolutely as sharp as a knife and the colors are lifelike and I loved watching films and videos on this device. It's, it's just an amazing panel. Then on the front side you also have the stereo speakers. These stereo speakers use the cold speaker as a second speaker. And the output of these speakers is in my opinion brilliant. They are, they are loud enough in most occasions and they are absolutely clear. The Sony has always been making great speakers in their mobile phones and so have they done here. Then there is the placement of the buttons which is in my opinion correct and logical. It's easy to reach them, it's easy to find them, um, it, it, it's fine. It's absolutely fine and you also have a classical Sony shutter button which is a great thing. On the rear you have the dual camera setup the dual camera setup on on top of it you have the LED flash and the laser autofocus and under it there is a fingerprint scanner and on the absolute bottom there is the Xperia logo so to the fingerprint scanner it's not the the quickest on the market um but as you can see i can show you it's not the quickest it it could be a lot quicker but what it is is that it's it's never going to let you down it's so accurate it's it's really accurate even with wet hands although there are many people there is many people who had complaints to the to the positioning of of it but what I would say personally is that, in my opinion, the camera should be positioned a little bit higher and there, then there would be no missteps on the, on the camera while trying to reach the fingerprint scanner. So in my opinion, it's absolutely fine like it is here in the middle. And, and it's very easy to get used to. It's quite quick. Um, the phone is powered by Snapdragon 845, which is also a rocket. This phone is quick, is as quick as the absolutely new Porsche 911 that was revealed yesterday. It, it's just fast. It it's just so fast. It flies through everything. It, it has no problems with anything you throw at it. I'm gonna. I'm also going to make a speed test to see how quick it is in two rounds. So make sure you're gonna see that as well. Um, but really it has no problem with six gigabytes of RAM the multitasking is no problem I either um, you you know with the Android 8 you have you have the split-screen multitasking as well which is a great thing so this phone is, is really it's so fluent Al although I had I had one one bug or one problem with it it happened once on once or twice while I was typing is that the the, the keyboard has just just lacked and, and that's it but otherwise it, it's been so far it's been absolutely fluent and with no problem um, 
Yeah, so to the build again, I would say that it's made out of glass and if you have dry hands like I do in the morning, it's very easy to slip out of them or or it also is slipping down the table quite a lot, but it uh, uh but it's a thing that if if you're caring about if you're taking care of it, well it, it's it's fine. And then it also is IP68 certified, so no problems with taking photos under the water or when it's when it's dirty, just put it under water, no problem. Not a big deal. Um, yeah, so storage wise, um, it has 64 gigabytes of internal storage that can be expanded by a micro SD card up to 512 gigabytes. And then we uh, micro card, micro SD card uses a SIM. Uh, sim second sim slot so the phone is a dual sim and uh, yeah so storage wise it's no problems the battery is 34 35 40 milliamp hours and its endurance in my opinion is is great i had no problems any day mm, uh, reaching above 20 percent of the battery level at the end of the day and in the easier days when i didn't use the phone that much or that or didn't use it that heavily it, it was it was really easy to finish the day above 40 percent of the battery so really nice and um, the charging is provided through the usb type c um yeah and it's quite quick when you have the quick charger which you should get in the box i didn't get it but but it is in uh, when you buy it, it is in the box. Um, the a little disappointing thing for some people can be the lack of the 3.5 millimeter audio jack. But it's you know it's like that with nowadays flagships, and I have no problems with it. So here on the top is the is the micro SD and SIM tray. You have two microphones, and then of course the USB Type C connector. Mm, to the sound, the sound, the stereo speakers are also paired with the system that is called dynamic vibration system. And this system, well, what it does is, is that when, whenever, uh, whenever the the ba the bass drop in the music or or there are some deeper sounds played, um, the phone just what it does is that it vibrates and it it makes a really really nice experience. Software-wise, the phone's running Android 8 Oreo, um, and uh, the Android Pie update should come should come in days to come. So really, really close to it. And I think with the Android Pie, it's going to be a really even more fluent, even more stable device. It's going to be absolutely amazing. To the camera, so as I mentioned, there's a dual camera setup. You have the 12 megapixel monochrome sensor on the top and the 19 megapixel RG RGB, so the classical sensor on the bottom. And well, the photos taken with these sensors, they are just amazing, particularly the night shots. I was absolutely staggered while shooting with this phone at night. The results are comparable to the Pixel 3 or the Huawei Mate 20 Pro. It's just absolutely amazing. The, the amount of detail you get in the night shot, it's it's just it's just brilliant. And the phone just turns on the ultra high sensitivity mode, and then it's like magic happens. And the daylight photos are, as expected, excellent. There's tons of detail, great color reproduction, great saturation of the colors. Um, they are really lifelike looking. There's tons of detail, although there is a visible noise. That's uh, but that's a normal thing with Sony phones. But it doesn't lose the quality. The f mm, well, um, the the 12 megapixel camera has the f of 1.8, and the the normal one, the classical one, has f 1.6. So very good lenses for shooting. The front camera has 13 megapixels and f 2.0. Um, the selfies taken are, in my in my opinion very tasteful very good for my taste um, they are they have some warmer colors like I would expect from iPhones um, but they in my opinion they look absolutely great so all the shots that I've taken with this phone you're gonna be able to see on my Instagram so make sure you follow Bentest to see 
uh, more of the test findings and results of this phone and to sum it up I think that this phone is 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 great and I, I really enjoyed using it the last couple of days um, I think it's a phone that reminds me of or what I'm imagining is that this phone is owned by a really successful man who has his own business and it's just the way it looks so elegant and and well well it's just just looks so luxurious I mean I loved it and I think it's money well spent although it could be a little bit cheaper and to say the least well it, it's a beautiful phone it's a great phone and I think it would it wouldn't be a mistake to buy this one so this has been a review of the Sony Xperia XZ2 Premium, a wonderful phone. So make sure to follow me on Instagram, give a subscribe to my YouTube channel and uh, well, as always, see you in the next, in the very next review. Bye.